does, you know? It just the reason works. I participate in Hex, though, is, I mean, again, it's great to try to time things. If that works for you, if that gives you peace of mind, you're okay with your 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 calls that went right, and you're just as okay with the ones that got totally fucked up. Because a lot of us were in 17 and thought, yeah, this trend is amazing. And then you watch that shit go all the way down, right? So if you want to stay in that game, I'm looking at, personally, what Hex has coded to do. 20% more per year that's longer staked, max of 3X or whatever at a 10-year stake. So I look at all of those things and I say, okay, every time that I try and go against or try and shortcut what Richard has designed, it's fucked me. I don't really want to do it no more. I, I've tried. I was like, oh, I had a stake that came out. And when it came out, I was like, oh, yeah, it seems like this is going down right now in this market cycle. It seems like we're trending down. So I think I had come out on the earlier in the morning. I think I went into Ethereum from Hex because it came out of stake, went into Ethereum. And then before the end of the day, it had gone up and past that point, even though it was <laughs> trending pretty sharply for about a week or two weeks down. It's like, oh, yeah, let me just get out. I'll be in eighth. And then when it starts to make a, a little nice little you, I'll be like, yeah, get back in. I did that. And I think I lost like 600,000 hacks because of my, my, it was escaping me. It was like, fuck, just play the game the way that the game is designed. And that's fine with me. I don't have yeah. to, I don't have to try to anticipate cycles. And I don't really want to. I don't do it with real estate. I don't do it with gold. I don't do it with many stocks. I don't do it with any other thing. If and I'm going to start a school, start a school, and I say I'm going to complete it over four years, why do I want to shortcut all the other stuff? I don't get it's it. Just mind fuck. You just you, you just sit there and and you try and you know figure it out. It it, it, just, it never works out. It never does. And I think there's another cool thing that we haven't really talked about is like Hex really hasn't seen a legitimate bear market yet. Like I mean, there was we were going through COVID, but like we were like in the beginnings of ramping up to this potential bull run. And there was like we, don't three. Re we, we really don't we really don't know how Hex is going to react in the bear market. Like it might perform better than any other crypto we've seen before in the bear market because yeah. it's completely different. And like I know during the bear market, if I was if all my assets were just losing crazy amounts of, of value, I would move it into the thing that's going to give me 40 percent while I hold through the bear market personally. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's true. Can it's, we it's, gain it's, can we gain that mass adoption and just confidence? and other investors to see Hex is working, doing what it's saying it's going to do. So that bear market comes around. You might be very surprised how Hex actually performs during that bear market as opposed to yeah. everyone else. When you yeah. see that chart changing, I mean, again, does did DAI go up because people were moving into it as a stable coin when it was going, you know, because DAI came out about the same time that the end of the bear was happening. So did you see DAI changing in value? Was it giving you more DAI, 40% more DAI if you staked for two years to kind of weather it? Uh, you know, Richard said, look, when he cried on screen, look, we're in the bear for three years, pack it up. <laughs> you know, I mean, some of these things can be Party's over. Look we at, you know, have okay, something like hex. Where am I going to lock it? I think three years inside of hex is uh 60 percent more. So I think I would do hex versus die or Ethereum or something else to be or, or USDC even to wait until the market for three years comes back out. Because a lot of people don't want to move from one coin to another coin it's a taxable event. So there's a yeah. lot of reasons why people look at these things and say, I'll just stay in the contract or I'm not in the contract. I'll just stay in hex. It, mm -hmm. it, it, it effectively will one day, hopefully be a stable coin. It will be more boring than it is right now. Uh, but that's after it's Don't locked. Say that. <laughs> you know, you're, I think you're right, Motley. I think that yeah. people are going to want to park in a bear market somewhere where they're going to actually be making gains, you know, versus yeah. losing yeah. ground. And that'll pump the price. So, you know, Hex can pump to a, a buck during the bull run and, and then go to five is. in the bear. <laughs> <laughs> the staker class benefits from that stuff, you know, before that happens, before a bear or a bull. The staker class is the is is the Fed. You are the Fed. Oh, it's so nice being the my, Fed. My biggest